first off, before anything else, I was wondering if anyone wanted to exchange 3DS friend codes with me for the purpose of possibly trading Pokemon at some point. On my 3DS, I just have Gen 6 games, but um, I'm going to write my friend code up on the screen for a moment. I will also put it in the in a comment below at some point if I remember. So it is two zero three seven three four three zero zero nine two two okay that is it just seems to be good to collect as many of those codes as possible for that obnoxious friend safari in x and y now um on to the main game where were we going oh yes last time we blacked out in fire red so everybody is at full health at the moment and that might be a good time to go try and take on a rival what's this guy have to say Okay, we already talked to him. And... Oh, I did not mean to go in there. Um... In... Okay. Yo, Red! You still struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Here, let me see what you caught. Didn't you just see last episode when you beat us? Um. So. In. Gen 6. I've been. Trying to complete the Pokedex. And. Um. I, in the past few days, got a little more than my share of shiny luck, but I'd say overall I haven't had more than my share. It just was for some reason all compiled into the last few days. Two days ago... Now, I was looking for, oh, can you quick attack it? No, we're going to miss everything. I know, it's because of sand attack. Uh, are we simply going to black out again? I know this thing is weaker, but that thing's already weakened. No, we're not going to get through it. Uh, okay, Ivysaur is really the only one that can take it, but I don't think it can take the entire team, can it? It's going to be weak to that. I have never been this weak in a Pokemon game. Because I always over-level, and now we're suddenly... Well, I have to stay in. I suddenly am in a position where I can't fall back on the way I normally do things. Uh, can we leech seed it? Nope, we're going to get knocked out. Yep. 
This is entirely... We're not going to make it. Unlike the way I normally play. <sighs> and so I'm really going to have to reevaluate strategy. Um, so two days ago, I was looking for, it was one of the pan something. I don't know if it was, I think it was pan seer I was looking for. Yeah, we lost. I'm not going to try that battle again. So we've had two blackouts on red already. I had thought that if I blacked out, it would take me home since it's the only place I've healed. But no, it just takes me to the nearest Pokemon Center. I wonder if we can do anything in the gym. Um, first up, let's do it. When I was looking for a panseer in, I think it's the Santa Loon Forest, I, um, I think their encounter rate is supposed to be 10%, so that would be 1 in 10 encounters should be a Panseer, and if I recall, it took me, I didn't count it exactly, but it, I think it was around 40-something encounters before I got a Panseer, but also in that time... I got a shiny scatterbug. And so I know that scatterbug isn't a real exciting thing species. It's it's regions. What if I went up right up here and tried to talk to Misty? Can I do that? Yeah, I can. So I can actually just skip that trainer down there. So, I, um, caught this shiny scatterbug, and I know that's just like a, its region's equivalent to a caterpie or a weedle, but it's got some value as a shiny, doesn't it? So, I was wondering if anybody wanted it. And then um, the other shiny I got was just yesterday a... I was looking for Heatmore, and I got a shiny, I think it's called Girder. So, if anyone wants either one of those, let me know. First come, first serve. I'll take anything in return. The obnoxious Pokemon that can only be found on either a Mirage Island in Oras or... In the French Safari on X and Y would be most appreciated, but anything is fine. Oh dear. I'm not in a very good state here, am I? Even after this, we're not going to be. 
I wonder, can my Kakuna take it? Poison Sting. Oh, it's not gonna loop that. Why did I think it could? Uh, and I'm probably going to get a third blackout if I try to challenge my rival, won't I? <sighs> I'm not doing very well on this challenge. I feel like there should be a way to do it. I just don't know how I'm supposed to do it. I don't want to focus energy. I can see how I can see how it's going to be easier if I can get a meowth. <clears throat> oh, Rattata is evolving. So just anyone if you want either of those Pokemon that I found, then let me know, and if there's anything that, pretty much any species that you want in a Gen 6 game, non-legendary, that you're, you're looking for, uh, let me know, because I've got most of the species by now. Okay, all Pokemon up to level 30 will obey. Okay, which one is TM? Okay, Water Pulse. And did we already get cut? PM case. No, we don't even have cut yet. Where can we get cut? What happens if we talk to this girl over here now? Apparently we can't run inside the gym. I guess she just acts like we've already beaten her. Uh, going to see... Our rival now would be a suicide mission. We need to go to the Pokemart and spend what we have. What we got from Misty's gym. I am probably going to black out again before I can face my rival. That's fairly clear. I wonder if I have a chance of it on Oh, I can only buy three of them. Sure. Do I have any potions? Oh, I don't even have enough to buy one. Oh well. I wonder if I have a chance at beating the rival on Leaf Green. I'm gonna have to grind some here. And I might black out while I'm grinding. I'm gonna try not to. Well, I'll let you know if I do. Now, what I did on Leaf Green was I thought that it would be best if I could put all of my energy into one Pokemon and I ended up being left with two of them. My... I used up all of my War Turtles 
<clears throat> water type moves on wild sand shrew. I put my manky out first in every fight, switch to my war turtle. And I also used up Mankey's low kicks on wild Batata. We got Fury Swipes along the way and haven't used any PP on that, and we haven't used much on War Turtle's bite. So we've got those. Let's see if we can get through our rival. Yo, Green, you're still struggling struggling along back here? I'm doing great. I caught a bunch of strong and smart Pokemon. Let's see what we can do. Time to see what we can do to test our limits and break through. Uh, just sing whatever comes into my head. Modify the words just a little bit to suit the situation. Okay. We're at least doing better here than we did on red. Do we have any tackles? We do not have anything except for bite. <sighs> yes, I am going to switch Pokemon. I kept Mankey around specifically for that. I thought I was going to pour everything into Mankey and try to take out his whole team with Mankey. But then, um, War Turtle started leveling up nicely enough. Scratch or Fury Swipes? Let's go with Scratch. Mm. And a Fury Swipes. That doesn't do a whole lot. It's better than nothing. Okay, we're going to use a potion. We only have one super potion. <sighs> I want a Meowth badly. And another thing I was thinking about... Yeah, a potion probably wouldn't stop- wouldn't have stopped us from fainting. Is that things will probably get a lot easier once we get Rock Smash. Because I think you can get, um, whatchamacallit. You can get- Ethers off of smashing rocks, I'm pretty sure. I know you can in other generations. I think that's true in Gen 3. I know I've done a whole bunch of that in Gen 4. In my heart gold game, I don't know how much time I spent simply smashing rocks in, um... in the ruins of Alf. Okay, I think we are going to get through the rival battle on this game. Okay, karate chop it. Ugh. We're not going to have enough to heal much after word. Oh, but we can... Hey, take it easy. You won already. Oh, we're not going to buy very much with that. Went to Bill's and got him to show me his rare Pokemon. That added a lot of pages to my Pokedex. After all, Bill's world famous as a Pokemaniac. He invested, invented the Pokemon storage system on PC, too. Since you're using his system, you should go thank him. Well, I better get rolling. Smell you later. Oh, he came back? 
Oh yeah, right. I feel sorry for you. No, really, you're always plotting behind me. So here, I'll give you a little present as a favor. Obtain the fame checker. What does that even do? A chatty gossip up like you? That's perfect. I don't need it because I don't give a hoot about others. All right. This time I really am gone. Smell ya. Uh... Let's see what the fame checker does. A device that enables you to recall what you've heard and seen about famous people? And who counts as famous people? Oak, Brock, and Bill. What's this person like? To make a complete guide on all Pokemon in the world, that was my dream. Okay... Okay... If Brock's in here, why isn't Misty- Oh, right, we didn't battle Misty yet in this one. We just battled her. Okay, let's get some potions. And go into her gym. See how far we can get. We can't even buy a super potion. Ooh, we can get one regular potion. Should be able to get past the first person in the gym, right? Who's in... Who should we go in with? Uh... My Mankey's almost down. I don't really have any doubt we're going to black out at some point, but when? Oh, what did I just hit? Oh, I did that same thing that I did before. Okay, let's just try to bite our way through. to think what could I have done differently back from the beginning to prevent ever having whited out. Maybe just pouring everything into one Pokemon. Nope, we're not gonna change. I've thought about if I make it all the way through this challenge, I definitely want to try doing it in Hoenn, and I think it would actually be way easier in Hoenn. But, um... Okay, we got 64. It's not even worth going back and spending that, is it? Yeah, that's not enough for a potion. What can we get from you? Um... <clears throat> I was thinking that maybe... After Hoenn, I could try this again, but I'd have to come up with some sort of new spin on it to keep it from being boring. Is it boring the way it is? 
Um, okay, that's enough for a potion at least. Let's go get one. We can't run in the gym. We can run out here. Oh. Oh, here I've got the two games racing each other. But, um, maybe... Oh, right, we can only afford one. It's not necessarily a fair competition when, really, I'm just competing against myself. Oh, yes, we were going to the gym. The only gym I'm interested in going to. Okay, we're gonna see Misty. Only those trainers who have a policy about Pokemon can turn pro. What is your approach when you catch and train Pokemon? My policy is all out offensive with water types. It's interesting she says all out offensive because I'm pretty sure doesn't her star me no recover. That's not offensive. Offensive, offensive. Same word pronounced two different ways. Oh, we're running low on bites. I'm going to have to struggle. Okay, I think, um, what's its name? Mankey is going to Ooh, be taking out Starmie. Must maybe not. Maybe. We'll have to see. Oh boy. Confusion. Yeah, I'm definitely switching out now that there's confusion involved. But I'm not going to switch out until one of them's down. Come on. Oh, good. Just take it out. You can be done when Staryu is down. You can bite it anyway. Good. So, this is evidence. My strategy of focusing on one or two Pokemon does seem to help here. Green hasn't had a blackout re yet, but I think it's just a matter of time. Mm. Yeah, we're going to get a blackout soon, aren't we? I... Can we salvage this? We don't even have a super potion. Will a normal potion be enough to help survive? Maybe, because that doesn't do a lot of damage. Bite it. have to use another potion. Um... Oh, I was... wondering... Oh boy, struggle. Should have healed me more than...
Whoa, whoa, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to heal again. This is going to be the end. Yep. Oh, they wide out. Oh boy. Red blackout two, green one. Oh, I was wondering if eventually I might actually be able to race another person. Just see who can get through the game with fewer blackouts. That would be so, I'd consider this my trial run. Okay, I just lost to Misty, didn't I? So I need to... get in there again. Let's just get in there with War Turtle. But I did get past the rival on this game, didn't I? So we're stuck in two different places on the two games. We got all of our PP back, but not in a happy way. Let's just speed it up now. We've seen this battle before. <sighs> Bite. Okay. How much are we going to get money-wise from this fight? Okay, we're at least through the battle. Put your defeated leader Misty, you're too much. Okay, I can buy some stuff with that. I'm wondering if maybe for now I should just still buy normal potions, because I think per point the super potions are a little cheaper. I think it's um 15 pokey dollars per health point on a potion and 14 pokey dollars per health point on a super potion, which adds up, but my Pokemon aren't necessarily at a level yet where they are, are um, going to be where they can use 50 health points. They're only... So we'd just be wasting part of the super potion. So I just got one super potion, more potions. Let's attempt going up to Nugget Bridge, is it? Oh, uh, this is my trial run. People call this the Nugget Bridge. Beat us five trainers and win a fabulous prize. Think you got what it takes? 
eat something to sell and buy potions. Potions would be the fabulous prize. Oof, I didn't think about switching out, did I? Maybe I should have tackled it. Don't want to waste bite. Uh, change Pokemon, yes. Let's send in my Beedrill. Okay. You can beat your previous form, can't you? Beedrill is still part poison, isn't it? So it can't be poisoned. Good, so we've got a poison screen on both teams. Just keep up there. This will be good for you. I'm thinking if I didn't give myself the one Pokemon per route, um, what, <laughs> the, um, I'm thinking the word, the word is not coming to mind, oh, come on. If I, limitation. If I hadn't given myself that limitation, I could potentially just keep catching new Pokemon going back to lower, lower routes, grinding that way. So, I see that as a potential method for possibly being able to get through without whiting out at all if I didn't give myself this extra handicap. I might try that sometime, but I am going to get the rest of the way through this challenge the way I have set it up. I mean, I am talking through my teeth right now and sounding like my great aunt's answering machine. If I know you, I will call you back. Harden. We'll get through this, we'll just use up a lot of PP. I kind of have to go pee pee. <sighs> Bee drill used fury attack. Okay, finally got through that. Is there another Pokemon? Defeated bug catcher Kale. Ooh, good stuff. Yeah, he liked it because I've got a bug, too. Okay, we can spend the money we got. I have... Oh. Okay, in bag six, I don't need any. I can just get one potion. Now we can go back up there. Look at the- whoa, no. 
every time I run up there, I run into that house accidentally. Look at double time and running shoes. I'm second. Now it's serious. The first guy wasn't. She doesn't think much of him. Glass Ali. Pidgey. And oh yes, I forgot you were up front. You can't do 16 in one time. No. But I am gonna have to heal you at some point. An odd radish. Uh. Odious wanderum, I believe. Dr. Livingston, I presume. Do you have any flying type moves, Zubat? I'm not sure what you have. I haven't used you. Nope, you've just got leech life and astonish. Huh. Sweet Scent. The only use of Sweet Scent is it's outside of battle use for um, getting wild Pokemon to come around. It's worthless in battle. I still use it sometimes out of battle. The only other thing you can do to have the same effect is open a jar of honey, and that can get expensive. In the games that you can buy it, I think, um, some of the games you can't even buy honey, right? You can just get it with a Combee's Honey Gather. Hmm. Let's see. Combi belongs to which generation? Is it... I feel like... Is it native to Gen 4? So then it won't be in any of these games. Are there any abilities in these games that are similar enough? Does this Oddish not have any offensive moves? Offensive? Okay. Uh, won't change. And even though it defeated a Pokemon that was higher leveled than it, it didn't level up. Really? Just keep astonishing. See. Uh, okay, this bell sprout knows rap. Oh, we won't even be able to switch out now. Can you can make it through this, can't you? Oh, maybe not like that. Zubat, you already did well taking down that Oddish. Maybe we should speed this up, too. Looks funny, speed it up. Okay, I just put my ear next to the speaker so I can kind of... Hear it, it sounds funny, too. I don't think it's necessarily unpleasant having it speeded up. It's just funny. Not funny enough to laugh out loud, but it's amusing. Uh-oh. Well... It did better than I expected it to for its level. Can we get somebody else? Okay. 
I'm purposefully sending out the weak ones, seeing if I can strengthen them a bit. Okay. How could I lose? We don't have enough for another potion, do we? Nope. Hopefully we don't lose in the next one. Here's number three. It won't be easy. Three easy. Rhyme you see. Uh, and again, I forgot to heal my war turtle. What's next? Yes. Who should I send out? Send out Ratata. At this point, kind of feels like a waste to grind because I would just be wasting my PP and then I would need to resort to um, struggle, which would take down my HP, and I would need more potions for my... to restore that. So I'm going to need... I just have to keep going after- Oh, whoa, whoa, what am I doing? I just forgot the whole point of the challenge. Good thing I caught that in time. Okay. Buy a potion. Um, man, Pokemon centers are just so reflexive. Okay, not going in there. Now, who's, who's on first? What's on second? Can we do anything Pidgey? Might just let it faint. Then, once again, I'll focus on War Turtle and Mankey. Pidgey isn't going to get through- Oh, definitely not. Not with poison. Not going to waste any healing items on Pidgey. It barely made a dent in Nidoran. I sh Probably should have kept it to battle wild Pokemon. Just realized there's grass up there, isn't there? Ooh. Peck, and I'm a bug type. I'm a little bug type. Tra-la-la. Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to get past you.
What's next? More poison risk? Oh, I meant to switch. survive whatever it's going to do. Yep, you can survive it. Yeah, when a potion still does that much, even if I can buy super potions, there's not much point. Whoa. And that time I didn't mean to go into the bag again. And if I were to try training Beedrill a whole bunch somewhere, I would have to use up all of its hardens. Probably going to need to wait until it has four offensive moves. Now what? Defeated last... Riley? Riley? How much money do I have? 392, that's enough to... 392 is enough to buy new. Okay. Buy... Potion... And what would you like? Like a cheeseburger de lun de bleh. deluxe french fries and a chocolate malt. I don't remember the name of where that skit came from. It's just some skit about a man, Mr. Fogarty calling room service and the room service keeps messing up his order. Uh, why did that even come to mind? Just because the Pokemart person said, what would you like? Do I still have my bead drill up front? Nope. Have my war turtle up front. Uh, water gun it? Water gun the engine. Good thing. Um, little non important. Players like this don't. Oh, and enough for another potion. That they don't. Whatchamacallit. They don't use items. Just the. Gym leaders. Boss rockets, maybe. <sighs> hmm. Okay. Let's get back up there. I'll probably put somebody else in front. Uh, 
Uh, you? Because I kind of still want... Oh, he's not even a battle. How would you like to join Team Rocket? Oh, that's this guy. I've heard of this. We're a group of professional criminals specializing in Pokemon. Doesn't say in what about Pokemon. That's like saying specializing in animals. You sure? Come on, join us. I'm telling you to join us. Okay, you need convincing. I'll make you an offer you- Oh, he does battle. He gives... Since when do Team Rocket members give you things? Okay, I don't even know what's in this grass up here. Uh... Three swipes? Attack missed. When Mankey gets a new offensive move, I'm gonna keep Scratch and Karate Top, that's for sure. It's either Low Kick or Fury Swipe, so it'll go. Okay, we don't want a flying type against a fighting type. We're gonna switch. But I keep relying on bite too much. We're gonna run out of it. Would the super potion actually be useful on Ward Hortal? 11, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62. Wait, why did I start counting on the. Okay. Yeah, the super potion actually would work with Ward Hurdle. Arr, you are good. Okay, with your ability, you'd become a top leader in Team Rocket. Come on, think of the opportunity. Don't let this chance go to waste. Okay. Let's use the super potion on Ward Hurdle. And go back and spend the money we just got. Even though I'm trying not to white out, I kind of anticipate whiting out again. Just get two potions. And also, the more potions I have on me, the more I can fend off whiting out. Just need to string things out until I can get a Meowth. And then, things probably still won't be perfect after I get a Meowth, but it'll be easier. Okay, you can sell TMs in this game, right? Okay. Let's put somebody weak out front for a while in Pokemon. Why did I run all the way down there? No items back here? Okay, what is it? Bell Sprout! Okay, that's good. You know why? Because I'm pretty sure that... Oof. Okay. I want to get this bell sprout, so... I don't want to have to send in anybody that's too strong to deal with it, so I'm just gonna heal Rattata. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure... That Bell Sprout 
also appears, I'm actually going to tail whip it, also appears on the route, the first of the routes where you can get me out. And so, uh, I can tail whip it one more time, can't I? Quick attack hardly did anything. Okay, quick attack. Um, so then if my first encounter on that route is a bell sprout and I've caught this one, then I'll be able to run from it and have another opportunity to look for meow. Oh, but it has to get in one of these next two Pokeballs. Oof. Beedrill. Because I need to save War Turtle and Mankey for actual battling. Good. I'm going next money I get I'm going to have to spend on Pokeballs instead of potions, won't I? Nah, I haven't named anything else so far, so why should I name it? Probably should have named everything, but too late to start that now, I think. You go in front, Mangy. I saw your feet from the grass. Okay, good. I was counting on you having a normal type. Okay, Rattata doesn't weigh a lot, but low kick should still be effective, right? Good. And Ikums? Oh, I'll keep going anyway. But I'm not going to use the fighting type moves. Or should I have sent out Beedrill for fear of poison? But it doesn't have much in the way of moves left. Yeah, I should. Uh, I do have Antidote. Just get through it. Oh boy. Player defeated Camper Shane. Give it an antidote. Mankey was cured of its poisoning. Alright then. I'll be... grinding a little on fire red. Over on leaf green, it worked to... exhaust all of my... most of my Pokemon and just have... one of them... super powered. So I tried that out here. Ivysaur was already down and it was pretty much the only other one that was an option so I just fainted everyone else getting experience for Raticate. And I also wasted all of its PP on Tackle and Quick Attack against Wild. Uh, old Pokemon 
got a couple more levels. Let's see if we can get through the through the rival with just Hyper Fang and maybe potions. Didn't have. Oh, um, I'm recording this part on a different day than the earlier parts of the video, and I didn't have the best day today. I finally took my driver's test, and I failed it for something that I didn't even know was a possibility. That they will fail somebody for being too cautious. I hate driving. I wish I didn't have to get a driver's license, but it's just pretty much something that has to be done. And at least this strategy looks like it's going fairly well, though how much can you call it a strategy? It's basically just beat up everything and with your weaker moves until you can beat up the trainer with your strong moves. And going up to the above area... Oh, never mind, I just realized I can't go to the grass up there yet because I still have to battle the trainers. Oh, right. I knew he gives an item right now, but I forgot that he leaves and comes back to do that. So I'm probably going to black out again before I get up to that grass anyway, won't I? And I need to spend the money I collected. We can at least get through some bugs. Caterpie. Both of them have cat in their name, Raticate and Caterpie. And Hyperfang's kind of a waste on these things, but it's all I've got left. And... It's... We've got to at least try to make it with struggle. Oh, but we're not even going to be able to get struggle until we get through all of our tail whip. So, this Kakuna, can it do anything other than struggle? I mean, than, um, harden. Nope, it can't. So this is a good place to spend tail whip. Settle in. This is going to take a while. Thirty, twenty-nine, twenty-eight, twenty-seven. 29, 28, 27. It's going to reach max defense with all of these hardens. Would even all of those hardens be enough to survive a hyperfang? We will see. If so, I'll end up wasting more PP of Hyperfine than I would have if I just knocked it out with one. But I kind of have a hard time imagining Kakuna surviving Hyperfang from Eradicate over half its- over double its level. Yeah, over half your own level is equal to your own level. Wait, no. It could still be less than your level. What am I thinking? I'm tired today. Okay, 
its level is 10. So half of its level would be 5, and over half of its level would be at a minimum 6, which is still less than 10. I'm being loony today, apparently. How many hardens do we have left? 14. We're going to soon have nine. The moment of truth to see. And it is apparently still able to raise its defense at this point. It hasn't reached max defense. Oh, because Tail Whip is lowering its defense, so it's just one, one to one. Um, so it's not even going to have a very raised defense once we get through here. <laughs> so then there's not going to be much of a moment of truth, but I already thought I wanted to sing at the right at the right moment a piece of a Tom Lair song in that moment of truth I suddenly knew that someone had stolen my wallet ooh good stuff and at this point I think we had better run back and go to the Pokemart and turn off the double speed. How many Pokeballs do I have? I have ten in my bag. I can only afford one potion. Seriously? I've defeated two trainers since I was last in the store. Do I need any more antidote? No, I've got ten of them. So I have nothing to spend my remaining money on that I need. Let's go back up, but not go up too soon. And don't go too far up here, I've done that multiple times. Oh, it's you. I thought I already battled you and I was going to the one above you. I'm not sure why I got that in my head. I probably should have used a potion first, shouldn't I? But no need to bother with that if... Um, if um, everything is being taken down in one hit, but this one's not, only because we missed an attack. Now, a lot of people, I've heard complaints about the accuracy level in Pokemon, that it feels like attacks miss way more than it says that they should, and I agree that it feels that way, but I don't think that's actually true. I think they probably hit 
this about as much as it says they're supposed to and that it just seems the other way because you don't notice when it hits because that's the way it's supposed to go and that when it doesn't hit that is something notable and it's just a matter of reconfirming then um when you already believe that that's the case it becomes the hindsight bias and I still didn't heal did I okay only two of them but if possible I'd like to get it where a hyper potion would be a good option not hyper potion super potion be a good option so 68 58 48 38 28 18 we would need to get Radicate's health down to 18 before the potion that does 50 would be the best option. Now with 224, does that give us enough for another potion? Nope. Just have to go on to the next one. I'm not going to heal yet. I want to see if I can get the health down to 18. And I wonder, once we're out of Hyperfang, how many struggles will it take to take something down? Oh, we'll see right now. Just one struggle that's not so bad. Poison is bad. Okay, now we're in range of the Hyper Potion. Let's just survive this battle, please. Supposed to get it. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Six points just from poison? Two eighty eight, was that everything? And forced to use a Pokemon Center for what, the third time? Not going so well. I read, we hope you excel as something about exile. Yep, that was exactly how much I had. So, we are left with zero money right now. I'm number four, getting tired. Not getting tired because it just forced us to go heal. We can get through on quick attack instead. Maybe I should have switched for Bulbasaur. I just or um Ivysaur. Just realized because it is back now. Funny, she seems to have no memory of having previously defeated me. 
put Ivy Sar up front. You'll stomp me? You're just a camper. You nope, you don't have anything to poison. Oh, but the fighting type would have been effective against my normal type Raticate, even though it is lower leveled, so maybe that was accidental good decision. up leech er uh, poison powder One more round of poison will knock it out. The poison is kind of useful, but I don't think we're benefiting in this challenge by a move slot that keeps us from, well, it drags out the, the battle longer if you have to keep using poison powder over and over instead of attacking. And... If we attack, we use up the PP on the attacking moves and then we'll eventually be left with just poison powder. I mean, we can't poison the Ekans, but we can seed it and get the health back from the dawdling method. Tackle at them. Uh, oh, it use up PP on all of the other moves, and then a whole bunch of poison powders would be in between us and struggle. So, I think I am going to have to get rid of poison powder. Hopefully, I could get some damage dealing attack with a chance of poison. And we don't want a flying type against my grass type. Quick attack. Maybe I would fit right in in Team Rock because I got eradicate. Okay, we want to put somebody weaker in front for a wild Pokemon. And we don't want to run into that guy right away. Okay, we have a chance to catch. We've already had a Pidgey. What else? 
Abra. If we do anything... No, we don't have anything that would stop it from using teleport. So the best we can do is throw a Pokeball. Probably not gonna get it. Of course not. A Caterpie, I'd have... At least... Could have caught that. Oh uh, no, I would have fainted it. Okay, now let's... You know what? No, let's not waste anything on that guy because we don't have much in the way of ability to heal. Okay, we've got through Nugget Bridge. On both games. Let's leave this episode here. See ya, Jer Stuhl.